be teaching hate when we telling our brothers to stop killing each other? No, right, right. How can we be teaching hate when we telling our sisters to love themselves? Right. How is that hatred? Because it doesn't include them. When they don't include us in the damn thing. Right, right. right. Chosen people. 
Right. And knowing that God thinks this of you, this is where it starts. You learn to love yourself. Then you can learn to love your neighbor. Right. And by doing that, you love God also. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Bring it out. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The most High God said the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans are holy unto him. We are God's chosen people. No other nation of people. Right. You think these other nations don't know that? You think the so-called white man, Arab man, China man don't know that we are God's chosen people? Right. You don't think they know that we special? Hence the reason why they don't want us to come together. Right. They don't want us to come. Why would you stop with people from wanting to, to join together and build a community and go back to their heritage? Why would they want to stop Marcus Garvey's movement? What did it have to do with them? Why did they want to stop the civil rights movement? Why did they have to kill Martin Luther King? Why did they have to kill Malcolm X? Why did they have to infiltrate every movement that we have when we try to come together as a people and try to uplift ourselves? Right. Yet they build more prisons. Yet they plant drugs in our community. Where the hell are we getting all this military, um, military guns from? You think we make those things? Bring it out. You think we put that in our neighborhoods? But the second we try to come together, we become a hate group, and they want to stop what we're doing. Bro! Finish reading that and get the Proverbs 8. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. But thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. We are holy unto God. Read. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So-called black man. Israelite man, you're supposed to know that you were created to be above all people on the face of this earth here. That's right. You were created to rule this earth. Right. Forget a president. You are created to be a king and a priest of the earth here. Right. Oh, and guess what? You're going to be back in your rightful place if you repent. It's coming. It's coming. But first, you got to stand up for God's laws, statutes, and commandments. Give me that in kings. First Kings, chapter 2, verse 2. I go all the way of the earth. This, this is King David talking to his son, Solomon. He says, I'm about to pass away now, son. Read. Be thou strong, therefore, and show thyself a man. He says, and show yourself a man. Now start acting like a man. This is why we come out and start, and we teach the so-called black man and woman how to conduct themselves. Right. We tell a black man to show yourself a man. Right. Read. Read. And keep the charge of the Lord thy God. You keep the charge of God. What does God charge us to do? Love our neighbor as thyself. Stop stealing. Stop killing. Marry that woman when you sleep with her. No. Raise your family. Get a job. That's what we show in our men. Right. Right. Stop being a man. Read. To walk in his way. To walk in God's ways. Now, people, how, did, how are you against a book? That tells you that you're greater than everybody else. Right. Why? Because you're slave master. First of all, you couldn't read. You were put, you were put to death if you tried to read. And your slave master took that same book in front of you and said, hey, the Bible says this. And when you learn to read, you see that it's contrary to everything that they taught you. No. And you're still against the Bible. Read it again. I go the way of all the earth. Uh -huh. Be thou strong, therefore, and show thyself a man. Show yourself a man, so-called. What's your name, bro? Right. Travis. Ray Charles. You still Ray Charles? Uh, What's your name, brother? Okay, great. And keep the charge of the Lord thy God. Go ahead. To walk in his way. Go ahead. To keep his statutes and his commandments and his judgments uh -huh. and his testimonies. As it is written in the law of Moses. As it is written in the law of Moses. That's what the civil rights movement didn't have. That's what Malcolm X movement didn't have. That's what Marcus Garvey's movement didn't have. And that's the reason why it was not successful. No. That's the reason. God's laws wasn't behind it. One group wanted to join hand in hand with the same people that put you in slave ships. No. The other, the other group wanted to worship Islam or Arab religion. Bro. And the 
other group wanted to go back to Africa. Right. This is not a religion, right? This is the truth, right? This is the truth of God. This is your heritage. This is not a religion. This is a way of life. Yo. This is the book of your book. This is your history book. Right. When you go to school, they teach you about George Washington. You're forced to learn about Julius Caesar. You're forced to learn about Alexander the Greek. You're forced to learn about all these different Edomites. But they don't want your Bible in school. Right. Because that forces you to learn about your forefathers. That's right. Which is, which is millions of times greater than any one of them. You learn their history in school. You don't learn about Moses, a so-called black man. Right. You, know? you don't learn about Jesus Christ, a so-called black man. Right. You don't learn about David, Isaiah, Jeremiah. All of these are your four. Noah, these are your four parents. That's right. We don't learn that in school. We learn about Julius Caesar. Man, I was going to see you. I got to see you. Y'all be here every Saturday, right? Every Saturday. Every Saturday. Every Saturday, bro. I catch y'all with you. All praises. Thanks, man. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.